Hello everyone, this is Amin Desuri from Toronto Drivers and if you are looking at getting the most productivity from your driving lessons then you must watch this video all the way through the end. Hello everyone, this is Amin Desuri from Toronto Drivers and this video is for anyone who has a road test coming up today, tomorrow or in the near future. Hey, Raman, one of my subscribers, she texted me on uh, Instagram saying, Herminder, I have my road test coming up and it's a very important road test and uh, I'm really nervous about it. Is there any tip that you'd like to share to help me calm my nerves during the test? And I thought, you know what? It would be uh, great to make a video so that I can help other people who have their road test coming up and are in a similar situation, how I can help them, uh, you know, calm their nerves during the test. So this is my advice. Hey, listen to me. Getting nervous is very natural. You know, I was reading about public speakers and uh, what they said was, you know, to this date, you know, even like renowned public speakers like Les Brown and uh, Tony Robbins, these people get nervous to this day before they go on the stage. So if these people who have already had experience of speaking in public in front of like thousands of people, they can get nervous. Get You getting nervous is very natural, okay? But trust you me the nervousness doesn't last too long right it's just the first few seconds i know before the examiner enters the car your heart is pounding it's like you know it's gonna come out um that's very natural you know if i were to put that put to a test today i would also become nervous but hey listen to me the fact that you have booked your test you've come this far uh, says that you are a good driver. You wouldn't have booked the test for yourself or your instructor wouldn't have booked the test if they did not feel that you were ready. If you understand the real source of nervousness, then I think that will help you a lot in controlling your nerves. And I believe that this nervousness comes from the fear of failure. You know, fear of failure creates a lot of pressure around you. Now imagine if I told you that you could take unlimited attempts until you pass a test and you would not have to pay any fee for another test. You could do the test right away and they will keep doing tests until you pass. Then would you still be nervous? No, because you know that, you know, you're, you're, you're they're going to let you do tests until you pass. So passing is the ultimate outcome during the test. Number two, you're not going to have to pay any fee, right? So some people, um, you know, get worried about uh, paying, right? Because, uh, you know, they have uh, other things to take care of. They have, uh, you know, tuition fees to pay and other bills to pay. So, of course, that, right? So that amount feels big. And uh, uh, number three is, uh, you know, they don't have to, you know, worry about having to book the test one month after some people need it immediately, right? So if all these factors were eliminated, would you still be nervous? No, that is what happens when you're doing your te mock test with your, with your instructor. Because, you know, if you go with that attitude that you have nothing to lose, then you're going to feel much more confident and you're going to be less worried about the, the person sitting next to you evaluating you. And let me tell you about failure. Hey, you've already overcome failure so many times. And how is this going to be different? Remember the first time you sat in the car behind the wheel and you didn't know how to make turns and you, kept uh, making mistakes and you you failed and you failed and you failed but every time you failed you dusted yourself off and uh, and you you moved forward you did not let it stop you from learning how to drive so how is this failure going to be any different even if you fail just dust it off and move forward what do you care about other people hey people uh, you know, people, some people may have passed the test in the first attempt doesn't mean that they have never failed in their lives, right? Everyone started by failing, right? So when you started learning how to walk, you failed so many times. So there are numerous examples. Think about those things, right? 
I know for some of you you want the test uh, you want to pass the test really bad it's the last attempt but hey that's not the end of the world right you're ready get some more practice more practice will help you uh, help you uh, become a better driver and you know do some mock tests if you have to do some mock tests with your instructor do mock tests right do all these things and um, if you're if you've done everything right and if you don't let your nerves control you hey listen to me that person sitting next to you cannot make you nervous no one can make you nervous without your permission you give the person permission to make you nervous why do, why do you not get nervous with your instructor because you don't give them the permission to make you nervous why should you give the examiner the permission to make you nervous don't think about it you have come this far only because you could dust failure off. You are, you've already failed failure so many times. And this is another opportunity for you to fail failure. So go ahead, go for it. And I'm sure you're going to pass with flying colors. And when you do, come back and leave a comment saying, Herminder, I passed. Hey, I want to hear that. Thank you very much for watching this video and all the very best. And you are going to pass.